फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर एस्पायरिंग डेटा एनालिस्ट तो भाई आपको पता है कि भाई डेटा एनालिस्ट को पावर बी का नॉलेज लेना जरूरी है और आपने पावर बी ऑलरेडी सीखा है तो भाई आपको पावर बी के इंटरव्यू के लिए कुछ क्वेश्चंस का प्रिपरेशन करना जरूरी है जो कि मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली पूछे जाते हैं पावर बी के इंटरव्यू में तो इसीलिए इस वीडियो के अंदर मैं आपके लिए लेके आऊँ दस ऐसे पावर बी के इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन जो फ्रीक्वेंटली पूछे जाते हैं इंटरव्यू में भाई आगे आपका कल इंटरव्यू हो सकता है परसों हो सकता है जब भी है इंटरव्यू उसके लिए पहले से प्रिपेयर होना बहुत जरूरी है और ये दस क्वेश्चन को गो थ्रू करना बहुत जरूरी है तो ये फ्रीक्वेंट क्वेश्चन कौन से ये जानना और उसका आंसर कैसे देना है ये भी मैं आपको बताने वाला इस वीडियो में तो अगर आप इंटरेस्ट हो तो एंड तक देखिए आपकी इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन के लिए ये वीडियो आपके लिए बहुत ही काम करेगा चलिए शुरू करते हैं व्हाट इज पावर बी आई एंड हाउ इज इट यूजफुल सर पावर बी आई इज अ पावरफुल डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन एंड बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस टूल फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इट हेल्प्स कन्वर्टिंग रॉ डेटा इन टू इंटरक्टिव डैशबोर्ड्स एंड रिपोर्ट्स आई हैव यूज इट टू सिंप्लीफाई कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा इन टू इंटरक्टिव विजुअल्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंट व्यूज इन पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप सर देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट व्यूज इन अ पावर बी आई डेस्कटॉप वन इट इज रिपोर्ट व्यू वेर वी क्रिएट डैशबोर्ड्स एंड विजुअल्स सेकेंड इज डेटा व्यू to see and manage our tables and columns and third one is model view to manage relationship between different tables so i usually start with data view to clean the data then model view to link it properly and finally create visuals in a report view that's it about this what is dax and why is it important in power bi sir dax stands for data analysis expression it's like excel formulas but more advanced and it's used in power bi to create custom calculations and measures i have used dax to calculate kpis like year to date sales profit margins and dynamic rankings in dashboards what is difference between a measure and a calculated column sir calculated column is added at the row level in a table it's stored in a memory whereas measure is a calculated only when needed during visualization which makes it more efficient for example i created a calculated column to categorize customer as a high value to low value and use a measure to calculate their total sales dynamically in visuals but there is one major difference is that whenever we are using calculated columns it increases the size of your data and whenever we are using measures it is calculated at the top of the table so it will not increase the size of your data what are import mode and direct query when do we use it sir import mode and direct query mode these are the two different mode in power bi to import data from the different sources if we use import mode import mode copies data into power bi so it's very fast and supports to most features i use this when data doesn't change frequently and also the data is less than 1 gb for direct query mode direct query mode connects live to the data source without importing i prefer this for real time dashboards like sales data connected directly to a sql server however i also understand its limitations like slower performance than import mode and also there is a limited dax functionality sirji so sir we use import mode whenever we are having a small data and if we are having a large data we usually use a direct query mode what is the difference between power bi desktop and power bi services sir power bi desktop is a development tool where we build reports using data sources create visuals and write dax formulas whereas power bi services is the cloud based platform where we publish share schedule refreshes and collaborate on those reports with others i usually build and test everything in a power bi desktop and once it finalize i publish it to a power bi service for end users means whenever i want to communicate my work with my team or my seniors i used to publish that reports on power bi services and share link with my team how do you handle data relationship in power bi sir i manage data relationship using the model view in power bi i always ensure that primary and foreign key relationship are properly defined usually as one to many cardinality 
If needed, I change the cross filter direction and use DAX functions like related or cross filter. Correct relationship are essential to avoid incorrect totals of duplicate data in visuals. What is the use of slicers in Power BI? Sir, slicers are interactive filters that let user choose value to view specific parts of the data. For example, I have used slicers for filtering reports by date, product, category or region. So the dashboard becomes dynamically and user friendly. I also use visual label, page label and report label filters depending on how much control I want to give users. How do you optimize performance in Power BI reports? Sir, I optimize performance of Power BI reports by reducing size of data model, removing unnecessary columns, avoiding calculated columns where possible and using star schema instead of snowflake schema. I also limit features per page, avoiding using too many slices and use measures instead of columns. I monitor performance using Power BI Analyzer in Power BI Desktop to identify slow visuals and improve DAX where needed. Can you explain what bookmarks are and how you have used them? Sir, bookmarks capture the current state of a report page like filters, visuals and slices. I have used them to create interactive dashboards where users can switch between views like detail versus summary report or show or hide visuals with buttons. Sir, it enhances user experience and makes the report more like web app. That's it about this. Thank you, sir.